And an Ontario man is looking to the skies for a solution to the high price of gas that he says is pushing the pleasure out of pleasure crafts. CTV's Joanne Schnur explains. Ottawa boaters are hearing the sound of the loon on the Rideau Canal these days. Not the lonely call of the bird, but rather the quiet chug of this solar-assisted boat. Okay, we're going to lock on the right, Denise. The boat, christened the loon, is the brainchild of Monty Gisborne from Aurelia, Ontario. His mission this week is to take his family and his boat from Kingston to Ottawa using a little electricity and a lot of sunshine. Hey, how you doing? Solar-powered boat. His mission in life is to sell this concept to the world. I quit my big high paying job in the city, cashed in my RSPs. I think if people were given a choice between polluting and not polluting, we're intelligent people. We would choose not to pollute if we understood that the option existed and it was, uh, you know, it was, was cost effective. And that's exactly what this boat is. The cost of fuel is forcing many boaters to consider selling their pleasure crafts. Well, I haven't filled this one up, but I would assume if you wanted to fill it up from dry, you'd be looking at $1,300, $1,400. Gisborne says his boat may use 50 cents a day in battery power, over and above what the sunshine provides. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I think everybody should be much more aware of, of you know, how much power they use. You know, energy, the big, big boats, you know, cost so much in energy. Gisborne's boats are drawing interest from here and around the world. He's sold to Central America and Mexico with an order from Australia. For now, though, he's just enjoying the ride. We wake up every morning, we've got a full charge of batteries and just you know, waiting for the day's adventure. The loon arrives in Ottawa on Friday. Gisborne has invited the Prime Minister and the Minister responsible for energy to meet him on the canal. So far, he hasn't heard anything back. Joe Anchner, CTV News, Merrickville.